grass-fed, uh, five egg wet. And more on today's news. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, hot dogs. I'm Thomas. And I'm Yasmin. For lunch today, line 22, Asian or Buffalo Bites, line 3, soup and salad bar with chili, line 4, popcorn shrimp, line 5, buffalo or cheese wedges. Happy birthday to Dakota Kaufman and Diana Roa. This week, De DECA Backpack Buddies Weekend Menu was created by first year member Jacob Day. If you need help filling out the free application for federal student aid, and there is a fast one at the Purdue Extension, it is tomorrow from 4.30 to 7. Parents should bring the 2018 federal tax return, and bilingual facilitators are available. Students who are enrolled to take any dual credit classes in trimester 1 or 2 need to register as an Ivy Tech student before November 1st. If you have any questions, please see Mrs. Evans. Remember that PSATs are Wednesday. Now to weather and sports. Thanks guys. The boys cross country team ended their season at semi-state last Saturday, finishing in 18th place. They had a great season in which every single team, go team goal was met, including winning the county meet for the third year in a row, winning the Sagamore Conference meet after finishing second the previous two seasons, and qualifying for semi-state for the second year in a row. Karina Alanis also finished her season at semi-state. She led the girls team well in every way which resulted in our first girl qualifier in six years. Congrats on a great season everyone. There will be a final mandatory team meeting for all cross-country boys runners this Wednesday in room 403 at 250. There will be a girls varsity basketball scrimmage against Peru this Thursday. Scrimmage starts at 6. Just a reminder for fall athletes and parents, the fall sports banquet is tonight at 7 p.m. in the FHS auditorium. After the program in the auditorium, there will be individual sports awards. All athletes and parents are then invited to the cafeteria for cake, ice cream, and refreshments. That's all for sports, now to weather with Reese. Thanks, Abby. The weather today is going to be more varied than it was last week. The high for today is going to be around 60 degrees at 3 p.m. and the low, 43, was at 8 a.m. Obviously, I prepared for much colder weather, hence the two sweatshirts. There is a 0% chance of precipitation all day. It is going to be sunny with some small amounts of clouds scattered throughout the day. That's all for me for today. Now let's take it back to the studio. If you're interested in pursuing a degree in education, the Next Generation Hoosier Educator Scholarship is now available. It provides up to $7,500 per year. Applications are due November 30th. For more information, visit learnmoreindiana.org slash nextteacher. On November 7th, we'll be celebrating Dia de los Muertos with music, food, music, face painting, and more. All donations that are collected at this event will be going towards the Olivas family. The location has been changed to the Rig Mix alone from 4 to 6. Don't miss out. Students and parents, you are invited to the Ivy Tech College 101 night on November 19th from 6 to 7.30 p.m. It'll be held at Ivy Tech Community College in Lafayette. You'll learn about dual credits, transferring as a junior, and more. RSVP to the email provided on the flyer. Well, that's it for today's announcements. Thanks for tuning in. Next week is the last week of the trimester, so make it a good last two weeks. We'll see you all tomorrow.